So we are today looking at some fit out contractors. They've taken me to a job, I'll be going to look at another one. I thought it'd be quite useful for you to see what I'm looking for when I'm looking at fit out contractors to sort of get a sense of whether they're good or not. This is one of their flats. I think the first thing I'm looking for is sort of neat and tidiness. It's not bad, it's a little bit messy here I'd say, but you know I'm looking at the plaster boarding, that's a neat line, yeah, the screws look in line which is good. You've got little bits of leftover but that's not so bad. This is always a telltale sign, is looking through the cavity, seeing how well that goes and I don't know whether that's going to be filled with insulation or not. You've got some metal stud work here on the floor, that's generally how you build this they use stud work walls now rather than with uh, timber as, as you used to. This is some of the first fix going in with the cables and you can see the copper pipes there. Boiler, that's some of the piping, it all looks good. So coming out to the roof, these are where they're going to be fixing through the balustrade and the, the roof here is a felt and it goes around that before they fix it in, in order to sort of create a kind of neater seal. Got many different plasterboard types. This is the grey, which looks kind of purplish, but that's your normal. That's blue, which is to protect you from sound, sound block it's called. This is the pink, which is for fire. And then in the bathroom, we've got a green, which is for the moisture. Looking for neat lines, neat screws. This is all looks pretty good. Marked up neat holes. The sort of loft room, I'm looking at some insulation, which is within the rafters there. Looking neatly cut out. We've got the lux window. So this is good. You generally want that kind of tightness of your insulation boards. That's some nice lead work there, so again, that's good to sort of see some neat lead work. But this is nicely encased, so we've got a nice roll off onto the, the gutter, all looks pretty robust. Here on the roof terrace, you can see that fantastic view for these lucky people. This has got a quite interesting kind of cladding, it's actually a sort of fibre cement board and they're busy putting in some lights and then the other thing which is quite interesting here which I've not seen before is this ridge tile it's got a ridge tile here normally that's pointed down there but they've got this kind of interesting sort of fixing system possibly just makes it sort of last longer I don't know and it's off plastic not a particular fan of plastic but maybe it holds it in place better here's some good lead work you can see that that's been effectively bashed into position nicely dressed in this is a lead joint or lap to effectively ensure that the water doesn't go under there it kind of wraps itself around so here we are in the supermarket which is below the flats it's quite typical for developers to take a retail unit this is basically being done they're just doing the fit out you can see the tiles going down over there this is a map which apparently keeps all the tiles stuck together and means you don't get cracking which sounds like a very sensible idea you can start seeing in the supermarkets you have to have quite hefty amounts of m and &E, mechanical and electrical which is your sort of plumbing and your routing this one here would probably be probably be for maybe a killer unit or an ac unit you can see they've left quite a lot of space this will look relatively neat if we walk around you can sort of see that they're sort of trying to keep things generally neat They've covered everything up underneath it, which shows a very nice inlay, which looks nice and very sensibly covering that up to make sure it doesn't get damaged. Got some plumbing going in there, some service points, and yeah, this is the inside of a supermarket before it gets open.